Welcome back. We're now going to go to the Messages tab, and we're going to go to the first tab, which is called Drafts. When we go to the Drafts tab, what you're going to notice is that you have a page where you can create a message and you can create a draft. Now, this screen will have all of the emails that you create inside of Aweber that have not been saved, added to broadcast, or added to follow-ups. So because Aweber auto-saves your email, you will be able to keep track of all of the emails that you are writing and you will be able to have them in this area. Now, in order to get started writing an email, what you're going to do inside of the draft button is you're going to click create a message. Now you have three choices. You can either click the drag and drop email builder, which is what you will use in most cases because this will send the most attractive emails. You can send an email by plain text if you have a specific reason as to wanting to send plain text emails to a certain list. Or you can also use the HTML editor if you know HTML extremely well. Now because most entrepreneurs will be using the drag and drop editor, we're going to actually start with this builder. So let's click this link. Now there are several elements that you want to be familiar with inside of the draft screen. The first you want to be familiar with is going to be the template box. We can actually use some of the pre-formatted templates that Aweber gives us in order to send out our email. Now, of course, we can change any of these templates to be what we want them to be if they suit our message. Now, if you want to write a plain message to your email marketing list, all you need to do is to click this plain tab. And indeed, this is the default setting. So you don't really even have to choose this template. You will actually have this template inside of your message writer by default. Now, if you want to use a different format, you can do that. You can use a center aligned format, or you can continue to use the left aligned format. Now, in order to get back to the writing screen, what we're going to do is we're going to click inside of this box, and that's going to bring us back to the Aweber screen. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all of the elements that we can actually add inside of our Aweber email. So we're going to start by writing a message, and we're going to edit it as we go along. So we have our content, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our cursor inside of the body and we're going to cut and paste our text. Now that we have our text inside of our email, we can actually start editing this email so that it actually looks the way we want it to be. Now one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take out some of the titles. So now that we have our content inside of our email, let's take a look at some of the things that we can do. Now we can always change the appearance of the text and make it larger for our client. And all we would need to do is to highlight the text and then change the size. We can make the size anything that we actually want within this box. So now that we have the text at the size that we actually want it, what we're going to do is we're going to personalize the email. Now, one of the things that you'll notice at the very beginning is that this email is going to be personalized. And it's being personalized with a common personalization code, which is first name fix. That means that Aweber will look at the code and it will try to determine the first name based on what's in the box. And this is actually a better code than just first name. It will look at all the available information and try to put the best fit for the first name. So in most cases, you will continue to use first name fix. However, you could use a different personalization code. And if that is the case, then what you do is you go to the personalize field, you pull the drop down menu and you choose one. For example, you could use the full name or you could even use the last name. So whatever personalizes the email for your market and your niche, that is what you want to use in the personalization area. We're going to go ahead and take this information out. 
And one of the things you'll notice at the bottom here is that AWeber is auto-saving our email. But we do want to make sure that we put a title in here so that we'll know what we've actually worked on when we look in the draft area. Now what we can do as we go along is we can actually preview and test the email to find out what our clients are actually going to see. Now one other thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to take a look at the background color of our email. Now naturally we have a white background because that is the default setting. However, you can change the background color. We can click that link and we can make that background color whatever we want. If we wanted it to be a little more gray, we could click apply. It's a very easy way of adding some kind of branding to what we're actually writing. We can actually go back to this background color and then click apply. And every time we go along, what we're going to do is we're going to click preview and test so that we can actually get a sense for how this email is going to look when it appears in the inbox of our client. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, we're going to continue to work on this email and we're now going to click save. When we click save you'll notice that the auto save number goes up by one and now we can continue adding things to this email and we will do that when we come back in the next video. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in that next video.